So this is a review of the Robopon, uh, Nugi Robopon 1040 robot. Uh, it's got an extra basket and it's able to hold about 200 balls. Uh, it's got a rotating head uh, to create different kinds of spin. Uh, but that's not really uh, that useful simply because the spin is not very realistic. So uh, most of the time I just have it set on the uh, top spin mode. And uh, you can adjust the head, the angle of the robot manually and you, it can also has, uh, have oscillation um, capabilities for this robot. So um, when I was looking into robots I just wanted a simple robot that uh, I would use for maybe mainly uh, workout purposes not necessarily to get better at uh, table tennis um, but really after I got this robot I wasn't really happy with it as uh, it jammed a lot of the times and uh, the balls are not fed constantly at all. So here we have the control box for the robot. It's got three settings, a speed setting, a frequency setting, and an oscillation setting. Uh, so I'm just going to turn it on on a uh, fairly regular speed and frequency to show you guys what it does. Here we go. It's a uh, very regular, but as you can see, it skips some balls sometimes, and uh, the the frequency is really not that constant so we can see that it worked fairly uh, fairly well on a uh, normal speed but when I turn the frequency to a low value fairly slow frequency uh, the robot tend to get stuck um, so as you can see it didn't even shoot a ball out and it got stuck so Usually when it gets stuck, you have to crank the frequency up really high and uh, hopefully it'll shoot some balls out. And uh, once that's done, we'll try it again, put it at a low frequency and try it again. As you can see, it gets stuck again. So um, this is quite bothersome as you can't really lower the frequency uh, to a point where you can really take the ball very slowly and uh, focus in on your stroke. Um, so again, at a normal frequency, it's fairly decent, but uh, it does skip some balls sometimes. Uh, so it, when you're playing, it really messes up your, uh, your rhythm. So um, even though it may not seem that bad, uh, you can see it's skipping uh, every few balls and skipping one. So uh, it, it's really quite bothersome when you're trying to uh, to uh, work out with it or trying to improve your forehand or backhand or strokes with it. So, um, anyway, that's just some of my complaints. Uh, also, another problem is that uh, since this is not computer programmed, um, the it's hard to match the oscillation with uh, the ball. So, uh, you know, basically the robot will swing, uh, will oscillate on its own pace and it will shoot the ball out at its own pace and uh, it's fairly difficult to match those uh, plus you have the skipping uh, ball problem so uh, it's really really very difficult to try and improve your table tennis skills with this it's a okay uh, machine to be used for uh, simple exercise reasons um, but it's not something that I would recommend uh, to anyone that wants to use this to improve their table tennis skills um, plus you can't, again like I said before, you can't really do any, uh, any other spin uh, uh, practices with this robot. Uh, the back spin and the side spins are just too heavy and uh, uh, you can't uh, really get realistic um, spins out of this robot. The reason for that is because there's only one wheel within this robot that uh, sets both the speed and the spin. So the faster the ball is, the more spin it's got. The slower the ball is, the less spin it's got. Um, so it's very, very difficult to practice. Say your first, uh, your third ball attack, uh, or even counter looping, simply because the the spin's very, very weird. So um, the really the only things you can do is just a simple forehand and uh, backhand, uh, kind of a warm up kind of thing. Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully uh, this will be helpful to some of you guys, and uh, have fun.